Hello viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Service, where I make survey practices easier and educative. Here in this video, I will quickly show everyone on the alternative method on how to add dynamic labels on survey plans. That is to say, how to automate bearing and distances on your survey plans. So let's get started. I have once run a video on how to do this. However, I have received some email on some few challenges some persons is facing and I'm here to rectify it in this alternative approach. So let's get started. Follow me carefully. So when you import your survey data, which is the coordinate of points, the way you are seeing on the screen. In case this is your first time using CV3D, you can check under the comment section on how to import survey data in AutoCAD or CV3D. All right, so when you import your survey data, you have to do the first thing to set up your drawing units. So you come to this CV3D icon here, you click on that, then you scroll down to drawing utilities, then you navigate to drawing settings, you click on that drawing settings. All right, so on your drawing settings, you change your drawing units from feet to meters if you are using meters as your unit dimension. All right, but if you are using feet, you can leave it as feet. But I am using meters in the course of this video. Then you are expected to uh, set up the coordinate system of your drawing. All right, so you come to this icon here, you click on that, then you search for your country. So I am in Nigeria and um, I will search and click on Nigeria. So in Nigeria, the coordinate system, you click on this drop arrow here, you will see the different system. So depending on the region that your drawing is actually is on. So my drawing is on the mid belt, Nigeria mid belt. So I'm going to click on that. Then you click on apply and OK. That is the first thing to do. If you didn't do that, you will not have the correct dimensions on your survey plan. So you make sure you do your drawing setup first. All right. Then the next thing is to use the polyline to join the point the way you run your survey on site so i'm just going to join my survey using the polyline to make sure your O snap is activated so that you can accurately pinpoint the pillar points then lastly here right click then you click on close to have a polygon boundary all right so you draw your boundary lines the way i just did now all right so after joining the pillar points the next thing to do is to come to annotate scroll down to add labels click on that then you scroll down to parcel then you navigate to multiple segments because i use the polyline tool i will be using multiple segments then you click on that then when you click on that you see the two activated then you choose your boundary line all right then you click on enter therefore you zoom to the boundary line to see the labels so this is the default label and this is not the label of my interest. I want it to start labeling from the not azimuth and not from the quadrant rule. All right, so this is what some persons are experiencing. So there is no cause for alarm. All right, so when you have this displaying on your boundary line, you click on it. When you click on it, you will see these options popping up. You will come to label properties. Then you scroll down to edit label start. You click on that. So here is another challenge some persons are facing. So they are not seeing the bearing over distance. There is no cause for alarm. All you have to do here is to click on this icon here. You click on that. So you are going to see these options popping up. If yours is on information, you click on layout. So under layout, this is where you are going to see the options you are expected to edit. All right. So you come to this table tag here this component name you are going to see different options table tag direction arrow bearing and distance so click on the drop arrow and this time around come to direction arrow direction arrow is this arrow showing the direction of how you join the boundary points all right you click on direction arrow to make it the direction arrow uh, as the option then the visibility this time around you make it false i am not interested in that all right then you come back to read then you click on bearing so this bearing at this way you are supposed to do the setup to choose the right quadrant that you want it to be all right then firstly i'm going to change the test height to something of my interest so i'm going to use 
4.8 because the test is not bold to my interest so i'll use 4.8 depending on your test height of interest you edit it to be that when you are done with that you come to this three dotted points you click on that so this is where you are supposed to do your final editing on the bearing component then you highlight this command all of it when you highlight this command you come to the measurement type you click on that then you make it not azimuth all right then the precision you click on that then you make it one minute when you are done with that you click on this icon here then you come to format then this time around you choose the font of interest so i'm just going to go with times new roma so you choose your font of interest then i'm going to make it bold okay then when you are done with that you click on okay then you are going to see the bearing displayed automatically changing from southwest to the uh, degree and uh, minutes okay so when you are done with that you come back to the component name then you click on distance so this time around on the distance components you, you edit the test height to tally with that of the bearing 4.8 in my own case then you come to the three dotted icon here you click on that then this time around you click on the last command after the greater than then you impute the uh unit of measurement for uh distance which is m for meters then you highlight all of the command when you highlight all of the command you come to the unit you make it click on foot make it meters in this case the precision i want it to be 0 0.01 all right then you click on this icon here when you are done with that you come to formats you come to fonts then you choose your font of interest in this case times new roman then i'm going to make it bold okay you can choose to change the color to red if you want however i'll just quickly leave it as default then you come back to it then edit it to m which is the unit of the distance then you click on ok all right automatically you are going to see it changing then lastly you click on apply then you click on ok then lastly you now click on ok automatically you are going to see the distances and the bearing at the right measurement type okay so you can just zoom extent z enter a enter so guys that is just it and you can see the bearing and distances appearing on my survey plan perfectly so you can choose to measure manually to see if the distance tallies with what is on the uh, drawing so let me just use this length here all right so you can see it already come to this drop down arrow here the distance here is 57.55 and just like what you can see 57.55 and that is how to add dynamic label using civil 3d that is automating bearing and distances on solid plans if you find this video informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification bell on this channel to keep getting valuable tutorial freely thank you see you in the next video